Hi everyone, my name is Patty and I'm here at the Jester Park Nature Center. And as you can see, I'm all decked out as a monarch today, as an incredible insect. So I want to share with you today a little bit about our insect friends, but more importantly about their life cycle that we call metamorphosis. All right, and we're going to talk about two different types of metamorphosis that our insect friends do. So I'm going to get rid of my, my wings here uh, so just so I can talk to you a little bit better and my really cool eyes. But I'm going to keep my antenna on just because they're kind of fun to talk to you about. All right, so our insects are really, really cool animals, and I just wanted to share a few of them with you, and uh, just because insects are incredibly cool animals. This is called a jungle nymph. Yeah, that is really awesome. Now, some of these insects, they don't live here in Iowa, but they're so cool. I just wanted to share them. And this one... So you can also see the diversity of insects. They live everywhere in the world and they do all kinds of important things for us. From being pollinators to being decomposers of helping cleaning up our earth. And in some cases, people even eat them as food too. So these are really important animals. This one is called an owl butterfly and it is from South America. So it's called that because it's got these great big spots on the bottom of its wings that look kind of like eyes to make it look kind of scary. And this one that is made to look kind of like a dead leaf. It's called a dead leaf manatid. So it's pretty cool too. And one of my other favorite, these beetles. So we've got the Hercules and the Goliath beetle here. Right? So we know that all of these insects, all of this, this diversity, that they've all got six legs, okay? They've all got two antenna, and some of them have wings and some of them don't have wings, and then they all have three body parts as well. So those are some basic things about our insects. But what we want to really focus today on is their life cycle, all right? I mentioned earlier that was the word metamorphosis. So depending on what kind of insect we're talking about, if they have complete or incomplete metamorphosis. So we often think about butterflies, about their life cycle. So they actually have a complete metamorphosis. So all of our insect friends, regardless on what type of metamorphosis that they're going to do, they all are going to start off life as an egg. And these eggs are little teeny tiny little eggs, right? And so in the case of the monarch butterfly, which we're going to use today, is their egg would be about the size of a point on your pencil. So really little. So I'm going to start with my egg down here. And the only place in the case of the monarch butterfly that, they, that the monarch adult is going to lay her eggs is on milkweed. That's all that they eat. So from that egg, it's going to be there for about two or three days, is going to hatch a little tiny caterpillar. And that caterpillar is what we refer to as the larva stage. Okay, so we got the caterpillar or the larva. And the job of that larva is to eat and eat and eat some more. Maybe some of you have read the story, The Very Hungry Caterpillar. Now these caterpillars aren't eating cupcakes or things like that, but their job is to eat a lot. Now the thing about our insects that on the outside of their body they're wearing something called an exoskeleton. And that exoskeleton can't grow with them as they grow. So as they grow larger they have to shed that exoskeleton. So each time as they grow they shed their exoskeleton and continue to eat and eat some more. There we go. So this is all that larva stage. Now at some point in time, this caterpillar is just going to go, oh, I can't eat anymore. I'm so full. This takes about two weeks or so. After that, the caterpillar is like, I got to rest. I got to take a nap. And so they're going to find a nice little hiding spot, maybe not even on a milkweed, but maybe even under um, uh, 
a bench or a piece of wood, something like that, and they're going to go in the letter J, shape of a J, and they're going to hang there. And under there, they're going to, after that, they're going to shed their exoskeleton one more time. And this time, no longer a caterpillar, but you're going to see that chrysalis, also referred to as the pupa stage, right? So in here, I think of this as being kind of like a magic show that we're going to change from a chubby caterpillar into that beautiful butterfly. And again, it's about a two week time span. So when that butterfly emerges out of that chrysalis, their wings are all wrinkly because they've all been kind of stuffed inside that chrysalis. So they got to take some time to let their wings dry and to harden and stretch all out to be big and strong. And finally, we have the adult butterfly back here. So completing that life cycle. So again, we've got the egg, the larva, the pupa, and the adult. And this whole process is a complete metamorphosis. So that's what we're going to see in butterflies. But some animals, like our crickets and grasshoppers, here's our grasshopper up here, that they're going to have an incomplete metamorphosis. So when they hatch out of their egg, they're just going to be a smaller version of the adults. And here at the Jester Park Nature Center, we have Madagascar hissing cockroaches. And here is an adult. Right? It's a great big adult. You can see those wiggly antenna there. So you might be thinking, all right, well, what does the baby look like? Here is, woo, there's the baby. Again, just a smaller version of the adult. No larva, no pupa stage. So this is incomplete metamorphosis. And again, as they grow, they have to shed their exoskeleton, that hard shell. And this was in our cage with all of our hissing cockroaches. I found the exoskeleton where that insect crawled out of there. And when they first crawl, oop, these guys are, get back in there. And when they first crawl out, that exoskeleton isn't always hard. And so I found this kind of white colored Madagascar hissing cockroach in there because that exoskeleton isn't totally hardened. So that was kind of a neat find. So boys and girls, there's all kinds of life cycles in nature. This is just one example of a life cycle. Rocks have a cycle, trees have a life cycle, plants have a life cycle. So we could talk about lots of different life cycles as well, but this was an example of our insect life cycle, of metamorphosis, and incomplete metamorphosis. Thanks, guys.